In a bid to address the escalating violence between suspected headers and farmers in the southwest, Yoruba Nation agitator Sunday Boho has given a seven-day ultimatum for headers to vacate the region while demanding the immediate departure of headers responsible for killing local farmers. Igbo emphasized a commitment to peaceful coexistence and urged against any vigilante actions. In his statement, Igbo stated, while we believe in peaceful coexistence in Nigeria, regardless of tribe, religion, and political cleavages, we are issuing a seven-day ultimatum to headsmen killing our people in any part of the Southwest to vacate our communities now. This warning is very important. We are not going to take laws into our hands, but they must leave. Igbo expressed confidence in the federal government, led by President Bola Ahmed Tunubu, to ensure the safety of lives and property, particularly for farmers. He stressed the importance of preventing further increases in food prices and called upon the governors of Oyo and Ogun State to deploy additional security forces to flashpoints where headers and farmers have clashed. The move is aimed at restoring peace in the region and facilitating agricultural activities for food production, ensuring the security of farmers and Nigerians in agrarian settlements. Igbo's ultimatum seeks to put an end to the ongoing violence and create a more secure environment for all. In another news, the defense headquarters has denied that its personnel attacked the Kogi state governor, Yaya Bello, on Sunday. Yaya Bello had claimed there was an assassination attempt on his life a few kilometers away from Abuja on his way to an official engagement from Lokoja, the state capital. A statement by the state commissioner for information, Kinsley Fongo, stated that the assailants who were dressed in military uniforms waylaid the governor's convoy and started shooting sporadically at the vehicle and other vehicles in the convoy. But the comment had been misconstrued in some quarters and claimed that some yet-to-be-identified soldiers attacked the governor. Dispelling the claim, the Director of Defense Information Defense Headquarters Brigadier General Tuku Gusau, in an interview with correspondent, said Bellows attackers were criminals clad in fake military uniforms. Gusau urged the police to investigate the matter and ensure that the culprits were brought to book. He said, the attack is unfortunate and we are not happy with what happened. However, the governor did not say it was the military that attacked him. Military personnel would never attack the governor. He said attackers were in military uniforms. His attackers are criminals. We urged the police to investigate the matter and unravel the circumstances and those involved in the attack.